Hi guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. I am so, so, so excited for today's video. I'm going to be going to the bookstore. I feel like I say this every bookstore vlog, but I really only go to the bookstore when I'm like filming. <laughs> but I have not been to the bookstore in a while. I have over like 50 books on my physical TBR, so I've been trying to get through those. Honestly, it might be even less than that now because I've been like reading a lot recently and not buying as much. But I wanted to do this video where I go to the bookstore and buy books that my subscribers have recommended. So I went through my comments and tried to find books that you guys have recommended to me that I do not physically own. So this is part one and then in part two I'm going to be doing a reading vlog where I actually read those books. I also asked you guys on my Instagram to give me your favorite books. If you aren't following me on Instagram you should definitely follow me. I'm always posting like questions, polls, if you want to be a part of those definitely follow me on my Instagram. It is just books with Alyssa. I'm going to be going through all of those and kind of collecting some different books. I think that is everything. Let's go ahead and head to the bookstore. It's also a weekend so I really hope that it's not busy. <laughs> Okay guys, I just got back from the bookstore. I also did stop and get Starbucks. I got a grande ice vanilla latte with extra caramel drizzle and light ice. I also got it with blonde espresso as well. Usually I will get like oat milk or some alternative, but for some reason I completely forgot today. So also the person in front of me paid for my drink. So that was so good. You know, it's gonna be a good day. But let's go ahead and do a book haul. I was talking to the lady at the checkout and she was asking me if I was like a rewards member. There's like a higher level, um, like with the membership, which I did not know, but I actually heard a, a different YouTuber talking about that in her video that they like, that she had renewed her membership and I was just I was confused because I didn't know that there was such thing that you could pay for at Barnes and I just thought it was funny because that's the first time I ever heard about it was in that video and then the person at Barnes and Noble actually asked me if I had one today so and apparently it's only like $39.99 a year which is a really good deal with all of the like benefits that you get with it I told her not today but I definitely am going to think on that because I feel like it'd be very worth it for me. Okay guys, I ended up walking out with five books, which is the most books that I've bought in a very, very long time. There are a lot of good books that you guys recommended to me and there's also some new releases that 
I wanted to pick up so like I said I haven't bought books in a long time and there's just a lot of different books that a bunch of youtubers have talked about recently and I wanted to get my hands on I feel like sometimes I don't always get the summary or the like the premise of the book 100% correct so if that's the case for some of these books please don't come for me like I obviously do my best with reading off of what's off the back but I haven't read the book. I don't know the full story, so feel free to correct me if I'm wrong in the comments. Just don't be mean about it, please. The first book that I have is Done and Dusted. This is by Lila Sage. I've seen so many YouTubers and people on TikTok talking about this. I think the main character is like a horse rider. It first starts off by saying that the main character hurts herself so she can no longer ride horses. And then it says Luke Brooks is Meadowlark's most notorious bad boy, bar owner, and bachelor. He's also the unofficial fifth member of the Ryder family. As Emmy's older brother's best friend, Luke spends most of his childhood antagonizing her. It's been years since he's seen her, but when she walks into his bar and back into his life, he can't take his eyes off of her. So it's like best friend's brother, I guess? I kind of love that. I don't think I've ever read a book that has that kind of plot. So that will definitely be interesting. I feel like this is a book I would not normally buy or pick up, but I am really excited to get into it and kind of see what all of the hype is about. Let's get into the other new release and then I'll go over the books that you guys recommended to me. So the other new release I picked up is Wild Love by Elsie Silver. Um, if you guys have watched my videos, you know that I'm currently in the middle of reading the Chestnut Spring series. I just finished Powerless, so I really like Elsie Silver's writing. Of course, I've heard lots of good things as well. I really am enjoying the Chestnut Spring series. I believe this takes place in kind of the same world. There are some crossover characters that I believe we're going to see. I'm super excited and the cover is also beautiful on this. Like the rosy pink color and the dusty pink. I just think it is absolutely gorgeous so yay okay so getting into books that you guys have recommended to me i did go through a lot of my youtube comments and just kind of saw what you guys were recommending to me and then also asked on instagram this morning what your guys' all-time favorite book was someone on instagram had said their favorite book or series was once upon a broken heart and i have had the first book for a very long time the second and third books they were hardcover for a long time so the paperback of the ballad of never after just came out so I ended up picking this one up and it is very similar to the first book. The first book is pink, but it still is like the, it has the same like sheen to it. I've been waiting to start the series until at least the second book paperback came out. I might end up just buying the third book on Kindle and then buying the physical copy when it does become paperback because I'm pretty sure it's still going to be like another year until that happens, but I'm super excited to get into this for a video. Um, obviously I'll be reading Once Upon a Broken Heart first and then go into this one. I saw this like right when I walked in and I planned on buying it either way but then someone had said that on Instagram. I was like oh that's kind of perfect. So I love this color so much. It's so gorgeous. If you don't know this is by Stephanie Garber. Um, this is a fantasy series and I have read Caraval which is her other fantasy series. A lot of people say that you should read that before reading this one. So that was actually the very first fantasy series that I ever read probably about a year ago now. I wasn't obsessed with it. I thought that it was really cute. It's not anything that's like super high stakes. Yeah I read that and I think over Overall, I would probably rate it like a three and a half star series. I've heard a lot better things about this one, so I'm excited to start the series. So that is the third book that I bought. So the next book I bought, I actually saw in a YouTube comment. So I bought Lock Every Door by Riley Sager. So Riley Sager is like a mystery thriller author. I actually just read, what is that book called? The House Across the Lake by him. That was the first book I've ever read by him as an author. I feel like I've talked about that book so many times, but I thought it was okay. I think I gave it like 3.75 stars. It wasn't my favorite because I've seen the plot done in a different book, which is why I didn't rate it super highly. Yeah, I had a subscriber comment that this was their favorite Riley Saker book, so I'm definitely excited to get into another one of his books. I did enjoy his writing. I thought it was very interesting and like I was really interested to see like what was going on. It wasn't that it was bad writing or anything. I am curious to get into another one of his books. This one, I think it's about an apartment sitter. Obviously some weird things start to happen. This is the fourth book that I bought. I also love the cover as well. I always love 
some pink. The last book that I bought, I'm actually so excited about. And this cover is absolutely gorgeous. So this is Heartless by Marissa Meyer. I feel like a lot of people have talked about this. I don't know why I've never been interested in picking it up. I think it's like a YA fantasy book. This is also the author of the Cinder series and the Renegade series, I believe. That's what the back is showing. I've heard so many good things about the Renegade series. But yeah, literally look at this cover. It has like roses all over it. And then the inside here. That is so cool. I love it. Oh my gosh, that's actually so pretty. This is another book that a subscriber commented about. Yeah, I feel like if I would not have done this video, I don't know if I would have even picked this up. I'm just gonna read the back to you because I'm not very good at explaining fantasies. <laughs> Catherine may be one of the most desired girls in Wonderland and a favorite of the unmarried king, but her interests lie elsewhere. A talented baker, she wants to open up a shop and create delectable pastries. But for her mother, such a goal is unthinkable for a woman who could be queen. At a royal ball where Kath is expected to receive the king's marriage proposal, she meets handsome and mysterious Jest. For the first time, she feels the pull of true attraction. At the risk of offending the king and infuriating her parents, she and Jest enter into a secret courtship. Kath is determined to choose her own destiny, but in a land thriving with magic, madness, and monsters, fate has other plans. That is the premise of the story. It sounds super interesting. All right, guys, that is my haul for today's video. There also were some other books that subscribers commented and said were their favorites that I already have in my collection. So obviously I didn't go out and buy those, but definitely stay tuned for part two of this video so you guys can see which books I pick and which books are on my radar that you guys have recommended to me. So I am so excited to read your guys' favorite books, see how I feel about them. I think that is all for today's video. I hope that you guys enjoyed. If you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys!